All right, let's now focus on Lagos State. Tomorrow, the Lagos State Office of Overseas Affairs and Investment is launching Lagos Global, a one-stop shop for investors. Earlier, CNBC Africa's Didi Akinlore caught up with Yakub Olajide Balogun, the Permanent Secretary of the Office of Overseas Affairs and Investment, and discussed the office plans to collaborate with other ministries, departments, and agencies, and the investment opportunities in Lagos State. Let's take a look. The main objective of this uh, sensitization workshop is to uh, let all our colleagues in the other arms of government, uh, the legislature, the executive, all the various ministries, departments and agencies know about our office, our mandates and how we do business. Uh, with this, they will be able to appreciate uh, what we are doing, which is really to support uh, them in you know, uh, attracting investment to Lagos State and make uh, the process of uh, documenting and uh, making sure that that investment flies uh, easy. Uh, we act as a one-stop shop and uh, we interact with uh, MDAs on behalf of these uh, prospective investors. So instead of them going around ministries and agencies, we do that on their behalf. So it's expedient that we let these agencies and departments know what we do, how we do it. Now, of course, the office has been in existence now for nine months. So when you look at that journey, would you say that you've come across any difficulties in working with any of the other Lego states at, uh, departments? And is that the key driver for the message you're trying to pass across today? Uh, it's our experience in the last uh, few months that has advised uh, this uh, sensitization workshop. Yes, we have been working and we have achieved a lot in the uh, few months that we have been working. We have attracted a number of investments into Lagos that has uh, created a lot of jobs for Lagosians. But we see that we can do better if we have the buy-in and the uh, understanding of these MDAs. That is why we came together and you can see from the interactions and the questions that were raised by the MDAs, you see that uh, we are all now on the same page. So we even set timelines for uh, doing business so that the investors, as soon as they come in, they know how long it's going to take for them to get what they want and we assure them that we always meet them you know, as we promised. And you aim to make a Lagos an investment destination, not only only here in Africa but globally. Now where would you say the opportunities are for investors specifically here in Lagos State? One of the major exercises we carried out since inception is a sector scan in Lagos. We have looked at all the sectors, the strengths, their weaknesses, the opportunities and the threats that exist in those sectors and on the basis of that we brought out a sector focus and the areas that we want to focus on that we want to sell now is in power that is both uh, renewable and uh, captive power, um, agriculture, particularly value addition, manufacturing, and um, transportation, intermodal, sea, what, uh, water transportation, road, rail, and also uh, housing. Housing is a major area that we are looking at, particularly social housing, affordable housing, you know, mortgage financing, and so on. And we also look at health, including health tourism and um, other aspects of uh, the health you know, uh, industry. We are also interested in uh, uh, information communication technology, ICT, uh, education, and tourism. These areas, we believe, have great potentials in Lagos, given you know, uh, our strength in population, the availability of a very uh, high number of uh, skilled and unskilled uh, workforce. Yakub Olajide Balogun. Permanent Secretary at the Office of Overseas Affairs and Investment giving some perspective on Lagos Global, which would be unveiled tomorrow. More